You went for a shoot, everything went fine, and now it's time to call a break. And remember, I'm sharing the LUT with you guys and the footage that I used for this video just down below. Just remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. A lot of you guys there watching this video know about color grading much more than I do. Uh, if you have any suggestions or even criticism, just leave down below. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, guys, let's get started. I have my Premiere Pro already open. That's the video we want to add. I'm gonna put it right here. I just wanna show you guys something new that Premiere Pro has um, added. Uh, I don't know for how long, I believe it's been around a month or two. When you add your video here and you transfer your video to the timeline, that's what you're gonna get. I'm just gonna set up here so you guys can see. Find a frame that's, uh, as they call the hero frame. Uh, this is the frame I'm gonna be using. If you wanna convert your footage from log to Rec. 709, there's a new way to do it. Uh, a lot of you guys probably already know it, but if you don't, that's how to do it. So you guys are gonna edit your clip. You guys are gonna come to edit to the Lumetri Color tab. Next to edit, you're gonna find the option settings. In settings, you're gonna click on it. You're gonna see that this one here is tagged, use media color space, Rec. 709. You're gonna click in override media color space right here and you're gonna select your conversion. In my case, I shoot with the Panasonic Lumix S5X2. Uh, so I'm gonna be choosing the Panasonic Vlog V Gamut. If you guys have a different camera, of course, you're gonna choose the camera that you're shooting with. Here we go. Easy like that. I have already um, converted my log footage to Rec. 709. We're gonna come back here to edit and go to um, basic corrections. One thing that I like to do is I will come right here. You're gonna see new item and I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna open a new adjustment layer. Just click OK. And then I have adjustment layer here. I'm gonna be adding the adjustment layer right here. I usually leave a uh, little space in between my clip and the adjustment layer because uh, when you have a lot of clips, I like to move things around and I like to have this uh, uh, extra space here just in case uh, it, it just makes things easier for me. So we're going to be uh, duplicating the clip. Uh, if you guys don't know how to do that, it would be the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on uh, Windows. So you're just going to hold Option, click and drag and your clip is duplicated. So here we go, we're going to click on the first adjustment layer and we're going to come to creative. Here in creative, we're going to have look, we're going to open it, we're going to go to browse, that video guy, film like. That's the lot I'm going to be sharing with you guys completely for free. Just remember to like, subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below. Um, we're going to double click on this. And as you can see, it looks horrible. It looks dark, uh, it looks too saturated. We're gonna be fixing that. In my case, what I like to do is leaving the dislut uh, in between five and 40%. 40% uh, is my limit. Uh, depends on the occasion, I might go a little bit overboard with it, but 40% is usually my maximum. So what I'm gonna be doing here is bringing the LUT to about Let's see, let's go 24%. Yeah, that uh, still doesn't look good. We still have a lot to do. And we are gonna go now to your clip. So we have our clip open. We're gonna have uh, basic corrections right here. So one thing that I can see on this, on this clip and it's missing uh, contrast. There are different ways that you can add contrast to your clip. The way I'm gonna be using today is since the clip already looks uh, dark, I'm gonna be adding light to it. I'm gonna get the highlights, I'm gonna bring it up, and I'm gonna go all the way to the end with the highlights. I'm gonna get the shadows. Let's bring the shadows around. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave right here for now. 
and um, it still look a little bit too dark for me we want that image to pop so i'm gonna be bringing the highlights up now it has the lights that i wanted it had that morning feeling uh, but it's still looking very very um, uh, flat so what i'm gonna do to fix that is bringing the blacks down until you feel like it's a uh, uh, you, you get that uh, look that you want. It looks more. I go. I think like 59. 59 looks fine. And now we go to the special sauce. Uh, the special sauce in this case is a program called Film Convert Nitrate from Film Convert. They are not sponsoring this video. They not even know that I'm making this video. Uh, it's just something that I have been using for around three years now. So if you guys uh, happen to have Film Convert nit Nitrate and you guys follow my steps in here, uh, what you're going to do next is just going to go to Effects and then we're going to do, here we go, Film Convert Nitrate. That's with the, the, the plugin and that's without and that's with. One of the biggest differences with the, this plugin is uh, what it does to the colors, including the skin. You guys can see here once again, the skins are more to the red and orange and pinkish tone. And then with the plugin, it just brings everything to as a balance to the image. So what are we gonna be doing now? As you guys can see here, grain has been added also to the footage. So what I'm gonna do, I like grain, but I don't like too much grain. So what I'm gonna be doing here right now is uh, clicking on the adjustment layer, effect controls. And uh, one thing that I'm gonna do right here is bring the film chroma a little bit lower and the film luma. Let's see, I think it looks, it looks good to me right there. As you can see, we still have a lot of grain. So what we're gonna do is just take the grain and bring it here out. Oh, you guys are gonna come to the grain option and uh, I'm gonna bring it to two and I'm gonna bring the strength to around 50%. I don't do that to all my clips, but uh, for this clip here, as I have already added that, that's what I did and um, I like the way it looks. You still have grain, but it's not too much in your face. And um, yeah, I like this style. There's another trick that you can do to make your videos look a little bit softer. That's one thing that when you look at uh, uh, professional work and uh, some movies as well, there is still sharpness, but it's soft. There's a thousand uh, videos on YouTube explaining that. And there's one way that worked fine for me. And uh, I'm, I will be sharing that with you guys in the future. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys like the video. This is a very simple video. I pretty much made that to share my lot with you guys. So you guys can try on your footage. Uh, I hope you guys had fun with it. I hope I, I, you learned something new to this video. I'm going to be coming with a lot of more videos uh, about uh, uh, color grading and filmmaking in general. Uh, remember that I'm going to be sharing my LUT uh, completely for free. Just remember to like, subscribe and comment. You guys are going to be helping me a lot. Uh, it's going to keep me uh, motivated to keep doing videos like that. Okay, and I think that's it. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you very much. You listen to me longer than any of my friends or family. See you on the next one.